freaking last problem in this packet. Suppose that you are given a standard six-sided die and told that the die is loaded in such a way that the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six will come up with the following probabilities. So you can see I have a little bit of a loaded die. Um, I, I'm more likely to roll a two than anything else. I'm more likely to roll a one and a three um, when compared to a four, five, or six. So it looks like one, two, threes are loaded heavy, four, five, six are loaded light. Okay, no problem. Let's see what the what we got to do with this loaded die. So let A be the event that the number rolled is divisible by two. List the outcomes in A and then find the probability. So part A actually has two parts to it, right? I need to list the outcomes in event A and then I need to find the probability of A. And it says let A be the event that the number rolled is divisible by two. So let's go through our outcomes, right? Our outcomes are either one, two, three, four, five, or six. One is not divisible by two, two is. Three is not divisible by two, four is. Five is not divisible by two, six is. So the outcomes in event A are two, four, or six. And when they ask you then for the second part to find the probability that event A happens, right? that's the probability that you roll a two or you roll a four or you roll a six. Okay. And these are disjoint events. That's why we just add the probabilities with that formula one for the or. There's nothing to subtract out because they're disjoint. When you roll one die, you can't roll a two and a four at the same time. They're disjoint. You did one or the other. All right. Same with four and six or even two, four and six. They're all disjoint. None of those can happen at the same time if you are rolling one die. So let's see what these respective probabilities are. The probability that I roll a two is 0.3. The probability that I roll a four is 0.1. And the probability that I roll a six is also 0.1. So when I add those three numbers together, I have 0.5. So I'll just put off to the side here so we're aware that the probability that event A happens, it happens about 50% of the time. Okay. So with that, let's take a look at part B. It's got the same type of, um, of setup. So this time, let B be the event that the number rolled is divisible by three. Okay, list the outcomes in B and then find the probability of B. So again, two parts. Not only do I need to list the outcomes, I need to find the probability. So let's see what, what outcomes make their way into event B. So what do I need here? I need to be divisible by three. Well, those are just outcomes three and six. And in terms of the probability of B, well, that will happen if I roll a three or I roll a six. So let's see what those probabilities are. I will add those disjoint events together. All right, so the probability that I roll a two, that happen, not roll a two, excuse me, roll a three, that happens 20% of the time. And the probability that I roll a six happens one per, or 10% of the time for a total of 0.3. So let me just write these numbers here. We've got the probability of event B being 0.3. All right, so we got parts A and B done. When we look at C and D, I'm gonna see some conditional probabilities. So let me scooch this up just a bit. All right, and then let's try and work through these conditional probabilities. So the probability of A given B, I'm gonna use formula number two. So this will be the probability of A and B over the probability of B. All right, so let's see if we can find these numbers. We just found this denominator. We know that the denominator is 0.3, right? We found it in part B, but we haven't discussed the event of A and B. So take a look at A and B. You know, when we talk about the ands, we talk about the overlap. So what does A and B have in common? Well, you can see here A and B has outcome six in common. So I'm just gonna write this off to the side here. I'm gonna, we're not gonna be able to view the table. I'll come back to it. But I just wanna make some notes off to the side that if we're talking about event A and B, that's the event where the outcome is six. 
All right, so then what would the probability of A and B be? It would be the probability that I roll a six. And I know that's a little cramped. Let me give myself just a little bit more space. Oops, excuse me, I wrote this incorrectly. Okay, here we go. Probability of A and B equals the probability that I roll a six. All right, and if we remember from our table, what was the likelihood that I was just gonna roll that six? It was up here at 10%. All right, so going back to part C now, all right? My numerator in this problem, probability of A and B, we just found it, it's 10%. The probability of B was 30%. So 10% in ratio to 30% winds up being about 0.33. All right, and we could crunch that on our calculators if you're not sure. So 0.1 divided by 0.3 gets you 0.33. Right. So, I would recommend pausing for just a moment and try and do part D before I get to it. And then once you've tried it, unpause the video and see, see if your answer matches mine. So for this, I'm still gonna use formula number two, the conditional probability formula, but it's gonna go in a slightly different order. So I'm gonna have B and A over the probability of A. All right, now the events, B and A versus A and B, they're the same thing. So our numerators are not going to switch. This is still going to be 10%, just like it was 10% over here. But our denominators are different, because you see it's the probability of B over here, or it's the probability of A over here. We found the probability of A back in, in part A. So this is 0 0.5. And when I take those two numbers in ratio, when we take 0.1 divided by 0.5, we're actually looking at 0.2. So my answer here is 20%. Okay, so I scooted the page up just so we can see the bottom. And now let's see if we can figure out what's the, um, our A and B disjoint and justify your answer. So I see disjoint in here. And I think, all right, that's gonna go with formula five. So really what I need to figure out is what is the probability of A and B? Right? If that's equal to zero, then the answer is yes, they're disjoint. If it's anything other than zero, then the answer is no, they're not disjoint. So let, let's see what's going on here. So if I look at this, I got the probability of A and B. All right, we talked about this in, in part C. A and B, they overlap at one number. All right, six is common to both of those events. And the likelihood that you roll a six is 10% of the time. That is not equal to zero, so we would say these events are not mutually exclusive. Right, and I did justify my answer. You see me using that formula. Okay. Now, part F asks, are they independent? All right, you have a couple of options. And given what we've calculated, both of them are viable. So when it comes to this, to being independent, you can use what's the prob is the probability of A given B equal to the probability of A. So we could use formula three, or you could use formula four. They're both gonna work in this case. The reason they're both gonna work is because in part C we calculated this number, and in part A we calculated this number, right? For part C we calculated this number, in part A, we calculated this number, and in part B, we calculated that number. So you've already crunched all the numbers you need for this. You just need to see if things equal each other or not. So we found this number in part C. We said this is 0.33, all right? And we found the probability of A in part A. We found it as point, oh, I'm sorry, 0.5. These are not equal to each other, okay? So we know our answer is gonna be no, these are not independent events. But let's watch it play out here. What was the probability of A and B? That was 10%. Is that equal to 50% times 30%? Well, let's find out. 
So I'm going to do 0 0.5 times 0.3 and I am looking at 0.15. So is 0.1 equal to 0.15? We know it's not. All right, so both of these equations are leading us to conclude that these events are not independent. And there you go, we finished. It only took a couple hours, but we did uh, the probability uh, review worksheet. So good job, guys. All right, see you soon. Bye.